and welcome to today's vlog. Today is Vlogmas Day 1. It is December 1st. Oh dear. Okay, so most of my vlogs are going to be filmed off of my phone just because I have iMovie on my phone and I can edit it on my phone. So the quality is not going to be probably as good as if I was doing it with my Canon. Um, but I wanted to show you, um, I'll get a lot of questions about how I curl my hair. And so today I'm just going to do a quick little fast forwardy tutorial kind of sort of um, just to kind of show you what I do. I'm going out to the town square tonight uh, with my sister and our best friend Natalie and um, we are going to go get coffee so that's gonna be fun but I did not I gotta do something with this hair because um, I ain't looking like Cindy Lou Who not today so I'm going to show you what I do with my hair when I'm curling it okay I'm also drinking water with a candy cane looking straw okay so the tool that I use is Numi um, this is the Octa wand um, the Octa wand comes with eight different barrels that are interchangeable so you unlock it take it out and put in a new one my favorite barrel is this one though you can kind of see it it gets fat at the end and small at the bottom usually it's the reverse where the small is at the top and the fat is at the bottom but I like this one um, it just gives um, a lot of body at the top because that's where the tightness is and then it loosens um, down here which is normally what we want anyways we want volume up here but we don't want to look like um, Annie so I'm going to do something with this hair um, so I part it my part is like somewhere so usually like right there that's where my part is naturally my hair's been up all day so the part is going to be a little harder to see, but I'm going to brush it out, kind of just shove my hair. All right, so then I take the Octawan and I hold it upside down and I separate. You can do big chunks, smaller chunks. I usually take a medium chunk and um, I put it flat on the barrel. Um, that is my key. A lot of people will just wrap it around real tight and that gives like nice beachy waves, but I personally like curls better. So I tend to do that and then just leave a little bit at the bottom and then I let it go. Hello. And, um, usually I just kind of like hold it there for a second, let it cool and then I release it and it falls. It's not usually this curly. Um, and then I just do that all around my head and I let it go let it cool you can see that I can do a better tutorial if you like um, hair videos I think a lot of people are here because of my first video which is actually my most successful which is so odd um, but that was my hair video um, about how to get your natural hair back and so I get a lot of questions about my hair and um, so I have no problem if you want a more in-depth tutorial or you like hair tutorials I can do more of that um, so yes so later on today I will be picking the winner of the Too Faced and then I will be showing you guys what the next um, giveaway for today will be which I have picked out which after I'm done curling my hair I'm going to go film that Today, for some reason, my hair feels so thick. Oh my goodness. So I use the shampoo Trader Joe's, uh, like tea tree oil, tea tree shampoo. And then I usually use the, um, the conditioner that goes with it, but we actually have some balayage matrix stuff. And I've been using that. Um, my hair looks so brown right now. Um, but it just it makes your hair feel thicker. I think because it's like a cleansing shampoo instead of a moisture shampoo, so it makes it feel thicker. So if you have thin hair, I would suggest trying to find a um, a cleaning cleansing shampoo. It gives my hair a lot of volume. My hair is also one length, so so what helps? Okay, so I'm gonna fast forward this now. Okay. 
Okay, so I don't leave it like this because this is extremely curly. Um, I always, always brush out my curls, always. So I do them really tight and then I will brush them out with my wet brush. I find that this is like the best way to kind of brush them out just because um, it doesn't like, like deconstruct your curl, but it does um, brush it out very well. And my opinion. Oh. I definitely veer more on the side of like real curls. I know like right now what is in is like these like waves, but I really do I'm a big fan of the full on curls. Okay, so last night um, on the video, I actually got asked how I did that messy bun. Um, or like my hair from the video yesterday was kind of like this messy bun. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I do because I actually am not loving my hair today. My hair's just weird. I worked out. It's been in a ponytail all day long, so it's like used to being back. So I'm not just, I'm not loving it. So I'm actually going to do my messy bun today. All right, so what I do is um, I have two thin um, elastics, ponytail holders. Um, I keep it in my part so I don't get rid of my part um so then I pull it back and I do like a loose like I hold it kind of far away like not like not like a tight one so I kind of pull it back like this I pull over just like halfway and then I like just twist it like that then I pull it and then I push out the push out. I don't have any bangs and I don't have any layers, so it all stays in. So I then I just like push it forward and then kind of push it forward and then back a little bit. And it gives just like this nice, like uh, dewy kind of kind of look, kind of fancy without being fancy. All right, so I'm gonna do it again. So I have the hair down, so I make sure that it's. It's in the part. I pull it back. Do a loose ponytail. And then I do it halfway. And then I just do it like that. Pull it out. And then push it forward. And it's like that. So then, like, sometimes I have little doohickeys. Like, last night I had some doohickeys hanging out. Um, so, that. That is my look. It's nothing extraordinary um, but the key is keep the part low ponytail only do it halfway make sure your hair is like good and brushed so like your hair feels the thickest I think that's the way it works for me um, and then you can hairspray it or do whatever you want to do with it but it does it's a nice it kind of looks kind of up dewy without any effort whatsoever um, so that is the hair look for today. Um, okay, so it is 12 gifts of Christmas time. This is day two, December 2nd, um, and I'm about to show you what you will be getting if you win. I just want to go over the rules one more time. Um, so you have to be a subscriber, so if you're not, you can go ahead and click that LD in the bottom of the corner, and you can subscribe that way. Um, then you have to like this video and then comment below anything that you want to comment. It doesn't have to be about anything specific if you just want to say enter me, or you can tell me something encouraging about this video something that you liked or something maybe you want to see in the next video um, so that's all you have to do is be a subscriber like and comment and that is it so I'm going to show you now what your gift will be okay so today's gift is Bath and Body Works Vanilla Bean Noel Fine Fragrant fragrance mist. Um, this is my favorite scent, um, not just only for Christmas, but just Bath and Body Works favorite scent. I love smelling like a baked good. It is literally my favorite thing in the entire world. Uh, so you will be getting this right here. Um, and that is it. I'm really excited about this packaging this year. Usually it's like green and red. It's usually like bright colors, but this is kind of like this classy thing going on right now. Um, so it's got actually the kind of like the color of a vanilla bean. So that is what you will be getting. Um, me and my sister Natalie are going to go to the coffee shop on the square where I live. And I'm really excited about that. So I think that we are going to go to the coffee shop right now. 
Okay, so before I go, I'm actually going to leave... I'm actually going to read part of Luke 2. And this is the book of the Bible where it tells about um, the birth of Jesus Christ. Um, and I'm just going to read a little bit of that. Um, I'm going to read a little bit of it each day um, just so that we can really get prepared for what I believe is the real meaning of Christmas. And that is the birth of Jesus. Okay, so um, Luke 2 can follow along if you would like. Um, it says, in those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that the whole empire should be registered. The first registration took place while Quirinius, which is really Caesar, was governing Syria. So everyone went to be registered, each to his own town. Um, so I'm going to be reading a little bit of that each day because I find it very important that um, I can just get very caught up in my own, like what I'm doing and I'm already like edit, send videos and vlogs and gifts. I've just already got a million things on my mind and I need to like really, all of this is great and I love doing it. But what I need to remember is the true meaning of Christmas. And you know, I wouldn't even be able to make videos if it weren't for, um, Jesus. So that is, that is what I'm going to be doing each day a little bit, um, for this vlogmas. Um, I encourage you, I had to actually memorize this as a child. I went to a Christian school, um, and I had to memorize all of, um, I had to memorize Luke 2, 1 through 30. Ooh, wait, hold on, hold on. I had to memorize Luke 2, 1 through 20. I had to learn 20 verses, and that was just one of the things that we had to do, um, and they were trying to teach us, starting from little bitty. Like, I could, I could quote Luke 2 when I was in first grade. I don't know if I could still do it, but um, I think it's absolutely amazing. It was an amazing blessing to have a school where they um, they taught you that. Um, so now I'm going to go get the copies. Look how pretty this is. It looks like the reflection looks like there's stars on the outside. Okay, so that's lit up back there. Then you can tell the how the courthouse is back there. So, sister, we're gonna go find our friend. The guys who made it did a really good job. They did a really good job. The guy who was playing. No! I really push it. I push crosswalks when I should have walked across the street. I hope they don't close at 10 at night. I think it's 10. Okay, well, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Okay, well, I'm going to get you some cannolis. Are those cannolis? What are those? Why do they look weird though? Are the cannolis like softer? Like the, the breaded part? Is that like a lemon bar? I think so. I wonder if that's good. So we're at bread and butter, and so I just got a normal copy of like how cute this little gingerbread man is. So cute! What should you name it, Natalie? I think you should name it Bugs. 
bug. bug. I was gonna say Charles, but I was gonna say Kyle. <laughs> Hi, you're so funny. Charles Kyle. Okay, Kyle. but I like bug. Humbug. 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 I love it. Look at the tree. Yes. See Natalie will do. This is one of our favorite places to come get coffee. Okay. Lizzie don't like the camera. She don't like holding it. She don't like being in front of it. And look what else. A lemon square. This matches your hair. It does. It's golden. And everything is so Christmassy. We love it. <laughs> this should be my thumbnail. Oh, that would be cute. Why would you buy the head first? Oh, wait, no. Kill it fast. What? Kill it quickly. Kill it fast. Behead it. Yeah. Then it won't feel the Then rest. it won't feel anything else. Can you, um, can you see the tree in the background? Okay, so today is actually December 2nd. I'm putting this at the end of December 1st video because I forgot to do it last night because I ended up going to sleep at like 2 in the morning and I was like, oh my goodness, I totally, first day and I forgot to announce the winner. Okay, see so the winner of yesterday's, today's giveaway is Megan or yesterday's giveaway. <laughs> Yesterday, because I don't even know what day it is. The one of the toothpaste is Megan Senegal. Megan, I don't know if I'm pronouncing your last name right, but it's Megan. I will ship it out Monday because the post offices are closed um, today and tomorrow, so I will ship it out tomorrow. Don't be sad if you didn't win. We have 11 more days um, of gifts, so don't forget to like and comment and um, be a subscriber to this channel and like and comment in this video. Um, that way I can pick your name for the gift for today. Um, so I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow, which is today, in my next vlog.